All right, so it's lesson 34. It's Calc 2. We're almost done. Uh, one more thing that you may want to do with Taylor series, and that brings us back to a lesson from a long, long time ago. Consider the following. The limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus e to the minus x over x. If this were earlier in the semester, you would say to yourself, well, that's 1, and that's 1, so that's 0 over 0, that's indeterminate, drag out, L'Hopital. And I might be inclined to agree with you that we should just do this with L'Hopital. But we could do this in a different way. Because we know a series for e to the x, and we know a series for e to the minus x. We know that the series for e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus, and so on. Minus... Well, we know what e to the minus x is. e to the minus x is 1 minus x plus x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. So let's look at what happens within the parentheses. Well, within the parentheses, you got a 1 minus a 1. Gone. You got an x squared over 2 factorial minus an x squared over 2 factorial. Gone. The even terms all drop out. The odd terms all double. You get x minus negative x. So this is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x, sorry, to be proper, 1 over x times 2x plus 2x cubed over 3 factorial plus 2x to the fifth over 5 factorial, and so on. Well, what happens with that? Well, this distributes to there, the x's drop, and then this distributes to there and to there, and so on. And what you get is a power series where the first term is 2, and all of the other terms have x to a power, they all drop out as x goes to 0. And so your limit is 2. No fancy schmancy stuff going on. Your limit is 2. And I think that's rather nifty, quite frankly. I think that's a nifty, nifty thing. Evaluate. Limit. X approaches 0. Sine x minus x plus x cubed over 6 over x to the fifth. And again, if you were to, to try to evaluate at zero, you would say to yourself, wow, that's zero over zero. Well, that's bad. So what do we do with that? Well, We know what this is. This is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial plus and so on minus x plus x cubed over 6 over x to the 5th. Well, what happens? This x and that x go away. This negative x cubed over 6 and this positive x cubed over 6 go away. So we get this power series divided by x to the fifth. Well, what does that mean? That means that when we divide by x to the fifth and divide by x to the fifth, the power on x goes down by 5, the power on x goes down by 5, and you get 1 over 5 factorial minus x squared over 7 factorial, plus x to the 4th over 9 factorial, minus x to the 6th over 11 factorial, and so on. But all of these go to 0 as x goes to 0, and so you're left with 1 over 120. 
And I'm telling you, that's not hard to do. That's not hard to do. You can do this. In fact, I'm so confident that you can do this that I have two OYOs for you. Uh, one of them is the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus quantity 1 plus x over x squared. And the other is the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared times e to the negative 1 over x squared minus 1. That limit. Uh, as a hint to you, I will tell you that one of them is one half and the other one is negative one. But which is which? Did I put them near where they belong? Or did I, knowing you would think that way, change it up? You'll never know for like five minutes. All right, that's it. That's our last piece. We'll put a pretty bow on it in class tomorrow. Uh, ask me about e to the i theta when we get to class tomorrow. Ask me about that. All right. Thanks.